Hello everybody and welcome back to the new Gorilla Tech Fang tutorial and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to add a cool drawing canvas to Gorilla Tech Fang and this is all synced with Photon if you uh, set it up correctly. So yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to just show you this how this entire thing is going to work. So uh, you want to jump at this so link for this instead of the description. You want to scroll down to Networked Drawing Canvas Optimized. Um, you guys can also just go up here to the All Scripts. And then just search right in here. Oh, it's right here for me. You can just open this and click right here. There will be a Unity package in here. Always take the latest ones, or always the one at the bottom. And that's basically it. You just want to go to Unity, uh, import this, and you guys can go to Kia Stuff, Networked Painting. Uh, you have their example um, right here. You guys can see this beautiful example board. Uh, it has the script on it already. This is just uh, stuff that you, by the way, do not need. Uh, oh, but I'll talk now about this. So. Um, you want to make sure that it has a mesh render. So for me, the first thing up here is wood, which is kind of sad because uh, I tried to change it a ton of times, but now I guess I have to do it like this. So, um, this is my wood thing, so it's the bottom, and the canvas is for me the second one right here. So instead of the QS canvas script, you want to do the material index to whatever number this is. So here, element one is for me the canvas, as you guys can see. This is where I'm supposed to draw on. Um, so I have to change this to be 1, because the number of the element is also 1 in here. Simple thing, I don't know why it just wouldn't let me change uh, the order of this. Well, when I do this, it's just going to change this as, as well, and that's not how it's supposed to be. Um, the size, by the way, is just like the quality. Um, times, I think it was 556 or something, Wait, I, I forgot about it. Wait. Um, it is, yeah, the size times 512, yeah, exactly. So, uh, the canvas is just going to be the renderer, what it's going to be on, so this is just going to be mine, that's just a mesh renderer right up here. And this is basically all of it already, uh, you, then you just want to go to your player prefab, and uh, have their, and pen. So, I also use my grabbable cosmetics from the last tutorial. Um, very cool thing, I really uh, like this. I will link it to you up here probably. If I do not forget this at least. So yeah, um, Photon View and Kiss Grabble Cosmetics is only on the uh, for the Grabble Cosmetics. And this is the real setup. So you just want to have Mesh Collider, Convex, and Is Trigger, or whatever collider you better use. You guys can use whatever you want. Co uh, if it is, um, if you want to use uh, Capsule Collider, Sphere Collider, Box Collider, you guys can all use that. Uh, also, layer probably want to change this to something else, so you cannot walk on this. Uh, this will be very glitchy then. So, add the Q's pen, the tip. You just want to make an empty game object. And do not drag it right up here, because this means you can only draw with this point up here. So, only this little point here can touch it, and this is where it draws. Um, if you move it down a bit more, to around, I think I had it at like point, yeah, point 0.75. Here we go. Now, I guess can put this to this entire thing here uh, into the canvas and I can still draw with it it's just like making it a bit better you know the color is just going to be the color and the pen size is also just going to be the pen size and also what you guys want to do is uh, I actually forgot about this so you want to add the enriched body with is kinematic on there okay so let's really quick test this out here we go uh, grabable cosmetic right here I will really quick do that I can actually grab it uh, here we go uh, so that we have it now. Um, I hope I can even reach this far. No, I cannot. I have to put this a bit higher so I can actually do this. There we go. Now this is supposed to work. Yeah, there we have it. Now I guess I can go ahead and just draw straight on here. Um, as you guys can see right there. And now you guys can see I can put it as far as this into it and when I put it even further in there, it just won't draw. Uh, also one little thing, it's kind of a thingy I like, is you guys can, you know, like change this stuff. But if you have it like this, and just like go to somewhere, because it's continuous and you do this, it's going to also draw like a line. This is kind of like connecting this, which I, I, I say this is a feature. <laughs> but yeah, this is all network as I said, and wait, let me really quick do this, as so I can show you the color. It's also to red. Now, let's do this, and there you go. You guys can see I'm drawing right now. And I can also, of course, draw above that uh, pen uh, size. Uh, let me really update this too. Let's put this to like uh, 10. I don't know, this should be pretty big. 
Um, by the way, if you now continue drawing, it won't update only if you, like, re-put it on the, you know. So, there you go. Now it's actually going to be a big thingy. Yeah, and this is all. Bye-bye, and love y'all.